Hello, this is MicroJ101, and today we're going to do some experimenting. So, I'm at a park right now that, um, well, basically, long story short, I'm here to find some lead, some free lead. Um, so, years ago, um, when I was homeschooled, I was just at this park, I would go and explore the woods and such, and I remember finding some uh, lead sheet in the woods. So, we're going to go find that today, and uh, technically, we'll also be cleaning up the environment. So, we'll be cleaning up the environment and getting free lead for a project that I have in mind. Uh, in the future, so you guys should see this lead again soon, uh, so let's go find it. Nice uh, shale here. <laughs> Pretty cool rocks here. I used to remember thinking these were dinosaur bones and <laughs> fossils. Kind of cool rocks though. Pretty cool shale. Neat. Looks like a bunch has fallen down from freeze thawing. But, so I think I remember the lead sheeting. Somebody like, would have thrown it behind their house up here somewhere. So let's go see if we can find that. At one point I remember building a super dangerous uh, rope swing across here. I, I remember climbing on this. I don't know if it's some part of a jungle gym or something, but it's kind of weird metal piece of... I think I remember it being up this road somewhere. Well, that actually might be it right there. There's a bit of something up there. It looks like plastic, though, but might be it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Cool. Beans. Yep, that's it. Check it out. Some lead sheet. It's got a lot of tar on it, actually. I don't remember there being that much tar. Oh, look. That's actual real lead pipe. Oh, something was chewing on it, too. Mmm, tasty lead poisoning. <laughs> some kind of gopher or something. Yeah, that's a lead pipe. And some, uh, cast iron pipe seals. This will save the environment from all this lead. Pipe seal, or pipe seal, pipe seal, pipe seal. Alright, so now I've got a whole bunch of lead here. Now all I have to do is pretty much clean off most of the tar and dirt on this stuff, and then I'll melt it down. Okay, so I never realized lead was this soft. Look at this. I can just take a normal pair of scissors and just cut the lead. Look at that. It cuts like butter. It's amazing. And this is like eighth inch thick lead. That's so cool. There's a lid strip. But I mean, look at how flexible it is. Like you can, you just hold it out here and it just bends. Just roll this piece up. Now for this big piece, which is gonna take a lot of work. There's a lot of stuff on here. A lot of tar. So I finally figured out how to get it off easily. Basically what you want to do is bend the lead away from the um, shingles and it comes right off. <clears throat> so like this piece here is all stuck on there. So basically what I have to do is just bend the lead, which is very soft, and it just kind of starts peeling away. that piece off. As you can see we've got about 22 and a half pounds there on the scale of lead that I found in the woods. Alright so let's get some of the other lead that I have out because we're going to also melt that down. So as you can see I've got a couple of empty paint, paint buckets here with different metals. So this one has lots of brass in it, brass and bronze um, for casting and such. And then here's my lead one. I've also got one with zinc and magnesium and a bunch of others. All right, so here's my lead collection. So we've got the lead flashing, lead uh, onion rings, <laughs> uh, tasty, and some lead pipe that I got today. 
And then we've got my other lead. So I've got my, I believe this is a f 10 pound? I don't remember. Nope, it's a five pound lead ingot. Uh, and then we've got my lead shielding that I got from an old Geiger counter that didn't work anymore. Um, and then these are lead wheel weights. We've got a lead bullet here. We've got some other lead things that random bits, lead weight. Uh, I'm not gonna melt this down, but it's a lead plumb bob. Some lead sheet from something, and then some lead uh, BBs. So, yep. So let's start melting it down. I think we're gonna melt this in one batch, and then the pipe lead in another batch, and then this in another batch. Here's my crucible that I'm gonna be using, which is uh, the bottom of a oxygen cylinder. So just cut it off. Took a little while to cut that off, but was able to do it pretty straight. And then I've got some ingot molds that I'm gonna use, which are just muffin tins, which are very beat from bronze casting because the bronze stuck to some of them, so we had to whack them out. Kind of destroyed them a bit, but oh well. All right, so now I'm just trying to cut this lead because it doesn't fit in the crucible. So what I'm doing is actually trying to cut up the cold chisel. So I've got my chisel here. And I'm just gonna start whacking on it. It's actually working pretty good. There we go. Look at that. There's a pool of lead starting to form in the bottom. So I've read on the internet that you add wax or liquid or paraffin wax um, to basically act as a flux so it recombines the oxides that form on the top. So let's give it a try and see what happens. I don't know how much you're supposed to add. I'm going to move my camera back. I don't know. It's burning. Not really sure what else I expected, though. To be honest. Not my arm hairs burning. I'm gonna pour Yep, that's what I am. Let's try Wet. Casting in the rain is not the best idea ever.
Alrighty, so here are all the lead ingots that I cast today. So in this first stack here, or the is the batch that we did first, which was the lead um, shielding that was around that Geiger counter that I took apart a long time ago. Um, basically, to because it was measuring a very sensitive sample, it was you would put a, a small filter inside of it and then measure the radiation if there was any radioactive particles on the filter from the air. It was like an air monitoring system. Um, but So you had to shield it from external radiation so you could get a good reading. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> then the second stack here was from the lead flashing, the roof flashing that was from around those um, pipe vents. Um, so quite a few pounds there. And these are about two pound ingots each, about 2.2 .2 pounds. Um, and then here in the third stack we have the mostly lead from the pipe and the like pipe stuffing I don't know what you exactly you call it where you seal cast iron pipes with and then there's some wheel weights and other things in here too these ones sound a lot harder than these or these ones so I'm guessing there might be some other alloy al al alloyed elements in here to make it a little bit harder you can also see it's a slight different color but that also could be just from different temperatures that I cast it. You can see these are quite oxidized on top, actually. Which, maybe that has some bis bismuth or something in it to get that color, or maybe it's just hotter. And then this last little one here, what I did was I, I basically tried to make some crystals. So I heated it up and then let it cool down slowly, and before it was all the way cooled, I poured out the middle, and you can see some of the lead crystals in there, which are kind of cool. Alrighty, so I've got all the lead on the scale, and as you can see, it's right at 30 pounds, and it's not maxed out that it maxes out at 31 pounds, but yep. Alright, so as you can see, I stamped each one with lead, and then the weight, and the date, and lastly the batch that it was from so yep so now i can identify each one and i'll have a card in with the lead um, in with the bucket just so that i can uh, remember which batch each one was from and uh yep and then as you can see here's that crystal one that i made so i pretty much just let it cool a little bit and then i poured the center molten part out and you can see it left the crystals that were forming and then i used a chisel to cut it in half it's pretty cool though and I use this punch set. Pretty cool. Alright, so that's how you find some free lead. And then you cast it. And uh, yeah, that's about it guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And obviously if you dislike the video, dislike it. And if you liked it, give it a like. And um, don't forget to check out my social medias. Facebook, Instagram. Um, I post stuff on there. Like sneak peeks to projects. And some things that I don't post on YouTube. Um, just like what I've been up to and whatnot. So don't forget to check those out. And uh, there's links in the description to those. But um, anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching and keep experimenting.